Yo, 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 yo. When kings talk, the conversation's different, but you already know that. I'm your boy, Willie 23 and welcome to another special episode, baby. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. To your right side, it's a join button. Go and join the winning team. Let's win a ring, baby. Bronny James. What really happened to Bronny James? He suffered cardiac arrest during a USC workout. The young superstar, phenomenal athlete, supposed to be in the greatest health. He suffers cardiac arrest on the basketball court. Son of LeBron James, is he trying to live up to the height of his father? The number one scorer on the NBA. This guy's predicted to go number one in the draft pick. How many years will he stay at USC? Will he stay freshman year? Will he go to the second year? Will he complete college? See, trying to live up to a father figure that is here? Oh man, can you imagine the amount of pressure that Bronny James is facing right now? Everywhere he goes, they taking pictures of him, TMZ. Everywhere he goes, he never, he doesn't live a normal childhood life. Is he, is he taking the right uh, multivitamins? Is he eating the right food? Is he overworking himself? If he, is he still trying to outshine his brother Bryce James, which is an upcoming superstar? His little brother shot up past him, yes. Bryce James is predicted to be better than Bronny James. Well, the footage doesn't really compare to, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I see Bronny James as an outstanding individual basketball player. At USC, he suffered cardiac arrest. Elon Musk even went on to say, is a result of the vaccination that he took from COVID. You know what I'm saying? So it is one of the side effects. So we can't just rule that out completely. So, I mean, the man has a point. The man took the vaccination, suffered cardiac arrest. He's a young, healthy athlete, probably works out daily. So you can't tell me that this man is in the ultimate health of his life. He's in his prime. But it's the pressure starting to get too much. It's the limelight starting to be too much. He's the number one focus at USC now. He is the number one focus at USC now. They know that every basketball game that they play, guess who's going to be in the building? The King James. Yes, sir. He knows that the pressure is all on his shoulders. He knows that he cannot fail. Will this cardiac arrest cause his game to suffer? Will he be timid on the basketball court? Will he go full force like he normally does? These are the questions that I want answers to. But we can't get these answers yet because the boy has yet to play a regulation, uh, uh, college, NBA, whatever basketball game. So we have to wait and see on that. But I do think this is going to impact him in a certain way. I don't know about y'all. If I suffer cardiac arrest, I'm not going to push myself to them limits no more. Could this be the end? Could this be the end of a great young athlete's career? What are they doing now? I'm hoping that the young man is resting. I'm hoping that the young man is resting. Yes, sir. All the money in the world. Look, your daddy already rich. I know you got all these endorsement deals and things of this nature, but yo, the life is way more precious. Life is way more precious than a dollar, man. Life is way more precious than the fame that you receive on a daily basis as you was a youngster. We watched Bronny James grow up through the NBA when his daddy was killing boards out there coming through. Mm. All my sports fans know what I'm talking about. But what is going on with Bronny James for him to suffer cardiac arrest at this very young age? Those are the questions that we're asking. We need answers. What are the doctors saying? You know, the physicians, physicians you know, they got some of the greatest doctors money can buy. The greatest doctors that money can buy. That's why I tell people all the time, you're chasing fame, you're chasing wealth. You need to chase health, baby. Chase health. I, I hope this young man, he recovers fully. He's able to get back on the basketball court and be greater than he ever's been. But cardiac arrest, the heart. Huh. You need that heart to pump at a regular rate. You need that heart to pump at a regular rate. So these are the questions that I'm having as I sit back and I analyze this situation, is, is the pressure beginning to be too much for this young athlete? Or uh, are, are the workouts beginning to be too much for this athlete? How does he rest? When does he rest? I mean, does he ever take a day off? You know, it's a basketball is life for them. His dad, uh, LeBron James, been playing in the NBA for 20 plus years. 20 plus years. 
So he's trying to live up to the height of his dad, and we're all waiting to see. You know, we're all waiting to see that. What a magical moment that would be. The number one scorer in the NBA playing in the NBA with his son. <laughs> That's just something that will never be done again. So if you're living in this day and time and you're watching this, uh, you've been watching history for the last 20 years in the making. Now, Bronny James, is he going to live up to the height? Is he going to let us down? Because we know his daddy didn't let us down. His daddy did not let us down. See, we build LeBron James up, and a lot of people wanted to try to tear him down when he became everything that we wanted him to become. That's how the world will do you sometimes. Now, Bryce James, he's a, the other brother. Now, he's living up to the hype, too. They say he's an outstanding basketball player as well, predict, predicted to be better. Can you believe that? He's predicted to be better than his brother, Bronny. And he's taller than Bronny. His game's a little smoother. You know, he got that 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 Paul Pierce swag with his basketball game. But either way it goes, they're both young, talented athletes. But this is a scare. This is a scare. Cardiac arrest? That's not something to be taken lightly when he suffer this again in the future. And how many times can one individual suffer cardiac arrest? For me, I'd be scared for my life. Tell you the truth, I probably wouldn't even play basketball no more. But for the love of the game. For the love of the game. Not the fame, but for the love of the game when he continue to push. Because you got a lot of things at stake now. You know, you, you're in college, for one. You got endorsement deals. You project, projected to go number one in the NBA draft. You're LeBron James' son. Can you imagine the pressure that one is facing? Can you imagine the pressure that Bronny James is facing? I don't know, y'all. Cardiac arrest, Elon Musk, he blames it on the vaccination. What's true, what's false? How does the future look? Will Bryce James excel farther now? Will he take advantage of this? We don't know. We don't know. So we're all sitting back being witnesses to what's going on with Bronny James. And once again, my thoughts and prayers go out to the family because this is something very, very serious. Bronny James, take your time to heal, brother. Take your time to heal, brother. Um, I don't know if he was taking sports enhancements, drugs, but you got to figure, man, you know, all these athletes, man, they compete at a high level, so they always uh, putting some in their body to keep them going, whether it's clean drugs or, or it's bad drugs or whatever the case may be, man. But uh, it's nothing like a pure pure athlete man no supplements none of this other stuff that goes into the body that all these athletes they tend to take to perform well but Bronny James I'm asking you brother please just be pure man cardiac arrest we don't want to have to see you buried baby we love the game of basketball yes we do Yes, we do. We love it. And I, I love the fact that you, you know, you're coming up in your father's footsteps and, you, you know, it could be history in, in the making. We never know. He could be the one to break his own father's record. Number one score in the NBA. Just imagine that. Nobody broke the record in the last 20 plus years, 30 plus years. Uh, uh, that Will Chamberlain and, and, and Kareem Aldor Jabbar, all those dudes, man, that them were some serious numbers to go reach out and break. And LeBron James said, I did it with not even trying. Will Bronny James break his father's record? Will Bronny James be the next number one scorer in the NBA? Cardiac arrest. That's nothing to play with. Cardiac arrest, that is nothing to play with. So, like I said, once again, sending thoughts and prayers out to the whole James family, man. I, I love the whole the, the whole black unity family, the vibe, you know, and, and it's beautiful, highly successful. But, you know, no one is exempt from the harsh realities of life. I say this all the time. No one is exempt from the harsh realities of life. It doesn't matter if you have a billion dollars. Money doesn't equal health, baby. You can buy all the best physicians that you want, but if you're not taking care of yourself properly, we see what happens. Now, is this a condition that's hereditary in the family? Let's look at the family history. Has anyone in his, in, in his family ever suffered cardiac arrest? I mean, do we know? I mean, speculations are LeBron James doesn't even know who his father is, and... And so we can't look on, on, on grandpa's side, but what about grandmother's side? Has anybody else suffered cardiac arrest? 
That's what we need to be digging into. And then we need to do some studies on this vaccination because a side effect was cardiac arrest. Is Elon Musk a fool? We know Elon Musk is a very smart individual. You know the man's brilliant. So for him to have those type of accusations, he must have some kind of facts behind it. When Kings talk, the conversation different, baby, but y'all already know that. Hit that subscribe button. We're going to update this as more information comes out. To your right side, hit that join button, baby, and let's go. Shout out to the James family. When Kings talk, the conversation different. It's your boy, Willie23, and I'm out, baby.